Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick, Michelle, Ben, Alonzo, it's Billions, season two, episode two, Dead Cat Bounce. Um, a lot of stuff happening. I, uh, so first we, we have, we're introduced to Dr. Gus, who I know you already hate. Oh my God, how many analogies for a penis can one person yeah. have? Oh, well, I, I think we had to see that, that that Wendy is not easily replaced. Yeah, and I think it's crazy to me that like I'm watching him there, and I know she shouldn't go back. She shouldn't go back. They're bad. Guys. I want her to go back just to get rid of him. That, that scene <laughs> with the strong. with the forgive me for the explanation, but so we'll know, the description like with the Asian broker. Yes. Right? Uh, like, like you know, do you want to yeah. be a you know whatever he said. Uh, you know? You know, and he's like, okay. yes. I guess. <laughs> yeah. I don't, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, because he's like, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. I, I can't really follow what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, here's here's why I want him around. I look forward to the inevitable scene in which he has to sit down with Taylor. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Taylor is gonna like it's put this guy in a headlock because Dr. Gus is gonna have no idea how to deal with so that's them. A, that's an actor, yeah. Asia Kate Dillon, uh -huh. playing Taylor. Like, really. Amazing. Amazing. I'm, but, yeah, 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 I'm already like super invested in this character and want to find out everything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and she'll mentally destroy him. I yeah. Like he, totally. Wait, she, we. They. What is, they, they, they. 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 Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, because, and it's funny, I, I mean, I referred to the character as trans last week, and I'm thinking non binary, gender queer. I'm going yeah. to throw that out there. We'll see what the show just has. So, uh, what this show is doing, did any of you guys watch uh, Deadwood? No. I, I, it's my secret shame. I did not see Deadwood. I mean, so it's so unbelievable. One of the things that Deadwood did was introduce you at the beginning to you had Ian McShane and Tim Oliphant. Those mm. are the real stars of the show, and and Oliphant is this quiet, stoic, Eastwood-like former U.S. Marshals hung up his badge, sort of fed up, wants to settle down with his friend, open up a general store in Deadwood with his Jewish friend who he's loyal to, and everybody hates the Jews except Tim Oliphant. And Ian McShane is running girls and drugs and, and feeding his enemies to the pigs, mm. and is coarse and awful and a little cruel to the women even who care about him. And then over time, they flip. Oh, uh, right? interesting. Right, and you're like, Wait, I love Ian McShane, and and Tim Olafson's kind of an ass. <laughs> like, 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 what's happening here, right? And and it's one of the great things about about, and it's happening here. Like, I mean, a little. Like, I mean, Damian Lewis has that conversation with Taylor, right? Mm -hmm. And Axe has the conversation with Taylor, and he like, you know, he gets who Taylor is and why that's an edge, and he's not. He's both not condescending about it or think, oh boy, I have to treat you differently. You well, know? because that, that, conver that, that conversation is about Taylor being on the spectrum, yeah. though. I think it's more than about. Uh, I thought it was everything. I think well, it's, maybe I, I think it's it everything. Be, You're yeah. on the outside looking in through the, uh, like the world is not accepting of you. you right. I took it as, yeah. and him just being like upfront, honest, how you can use this, and I need you, and I like you, and I admire, like, and the way you want people to talk to you, and, yeah. and the way you. So and to, you to, know, you're, to know that you're seen, and Chuck Chuck would be worried if Taylor were a, a, a assistant district attorney for Chuck Rhodes, uh, he'd be worried about HR. You know that's what, how his conversation would be. Like it's a, it's just different. Like and again, so they they've. You know, they, I don't know. I think they, they, this show has kind of made these guys both lovable assholes from the beginning. Yeah. I mean, I, I get what you're saying, I but I, I think they, but there I, was a good guy and a bad guy. I just mean, yes, even though, yes, they're both, no question. This show was already closer to yeah. it. But, 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 but I still is, think it's skillfully done. Like, is that sure. about him being sympathetic, or is that about him being like, I can make money off of this kid. Is money the ultimate? Sure, I, but I, I think he can. I think he can be both. Yeah. <laughs> and it was true. But I mean, that was true in Deadwood Maybe. too. I mean, he was. To, yeah. You know, Ian McShane was trying to consolidate power and you know. make money. But he, right? You know, but but you you just they're complicated. There's again, it comes down to also who do you want to spend like the thing of like who would you rather spend Sunday with? Right. Yeah. Right. And I think it, I, I'm leaning now toward. I think I'd rather spend Sunday with Damian Lewis, who is. Loyal, mm -hmm. right? I mean, he, loyalty, unquestioned. He's not, like, he's with those guys. He yells at them and so forth, but he is. Mafi needs to start bringing something to the table because he's yeah, Mafie really is a, Mafie not is, doing himself any favors this season. Well, I no. think <laughs> Mafi sees me as a guy who who flips. Mafi is a, oh, a, I can a see flipping that, yeah. candidate. Yeah. Uh, um, but, you know, the way he embraced Dollar Bill back, uh, you know, and, and loyalty to his family. I mean, he, you know, a little, lo little loyalty to his wife when, when almost every other guy in that position would be with every woman who came True. along, and he's... Uh, it, it, it'll be interesting to see. I think we're getting set up for a, a, a WAGS self-destruction. Yes, that's oh, this season. Yeah. But, and I forgot to mention last week the All That Jazz shout-out. 
I don't remember. The when opening. he when he snorts the oxy and looks in the mirror and goes, "It's showtime." Oh, yeah, right, totally. uh, um, so, but yeah, so you yeah. know, but that that the, the whole the incident in the sushi place is great, oh, uh, I love but that also scene. I think indicative that like he is a he is he is a fraying nerve. Yeah. No, yeah. no. No, 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 not gonna. <laughs> but also really nice, I thought, writing and, 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 and to get us to the point of those guys. Just that moment of, you know, that's my question. Oh, sorry for the disrespect. Disrespect. Yeah. Um, I, liked, uh, I like all that. I like those little moments. Uh, so uh, uh, Chuck's dad is now interfering and meddling in stuff. And I love how Wendy is like, I don't have to have this conversation with you. <laughs> you know. And even Chuck is like trying to like get the dad to listen to him, to shut up. And wonder, And finally, if you know, the way you get rid of an emotionally withholding person is to hug him yeah, totally. until yeah. he leaves you Thank alone. You being, Thank you for being so supportive. It's really great. I love that you're here. It's great. Uh, I can't give the ring. See that he gets to his car. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was such a great scene yeah. between the yes. two of them, for sure. Um, and and the whole arc of this, uh, as much as you know, the legal mumbo jumbo on this show gets as thick as the numerical mumbo jumbo on the show. In terms of like, I, I, it will be explained to me later if I don't get what's happening now. So I'm just going to go with it. But the whole thing where he's trying to get the staff to come up with a, a a case that he can take to the AG to make him unfireable, and his original thing is to go after somebody that 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 she hates that the administration hates. That's you know they're like great. We'll have the next guy do that one, uh, and then Wendy. Gives them that great 180 speech, and it you know it, it flips it I all around. I thought that was nice. That, right, that was, then, then they because the there's no politics in high, in a bat like he, there the AG would have been right. Anybody can prosecute. Great, great. Yeah. Sounds like a good case. And your replacement, I'll 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 encourage them to pursue that with the full power of the of your office. Uh, but she can't fire him now. Yes. Can't fire him when they're going after a friend of the administration. That comes out of Wendy's 180 speech, which was. Uh, which was good, and obviously it's nice. That they, I like that they're, of course, still connected, mm -hmm. um, and I imagine that they'll find their way back to each other as she'll probably in some way find her way back to Axe, although, and I guess she could return. They're, they're not invested, but now she can't go to Axe because Axe is, for the other reason, that Axe is pursuing action against Chuck. There, no, yeah, that's that's, so that's, that's true. Yeah, the whole the, the, that whole investigation with, with Dake is that his name? The Dake, uh, yeah. yeah, Dake is like, oh man, he's right, a, the, that is a character. The, like I, the, the the new between him and Taylor, the characters they are bringing in for this season are really sharp. No, Dake looks yeah. like he worked for Jim Garrison in in uh, JFK. Yeah, yeah or, or, or he yeah. looks like one of the Agent Smiths from totally. the Matrix. You know, like there's yeah. something very <laughs> just buttoned down, frightening about this guy. Um, yeah, you know, and and I think also sort of the. You know, they, you know, we're talking about the, the the two lead guys and where our sympathies lie. The wives are so fascinating too, because like we haven't really seen Wendy's Achilles heel yet. She is, you know, right now everybody wants her counsel, everybody wants her mm -hmm. in their corner, and she's really good at what she does. Mm -hmm. And then you've got you know Malin Ackerman's character, who is also like. You know, she is. She's not warm, uh, you know, or or anything. But she is not to be crossed, and she gets shit done too. And so, like these, both of these women, I think, are presented as not just like the woman behind the guy. Like they've got their own shit going on, and they're really good at what they do. And I, I you know, we got a little of this in season one. I'd like to see somehow them clashing as well, because I think they're as interesting as allies slash foes as as Chuck and Axe are. Yeah, I, I, we thought in the beginning. I think we we said that this show is, oh, you know, seemed like it was about. To me, it really felt like it was about Wendy. You yeah, know, yeah. Like that. Uh, and Definitely. maybe it will ultimately, uh, ultimately be. I talked to her at the the SAG Awards party yeah. afterwards. He was. I saw her. I'm like, that's the person I'm going to go talk to. <laughs> um, and. Uh, uh, you know, and I threw out the, hey, I'm friends with Dollar Bill. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, who? <laughs> she was super graceful. And, and there's the whole, I love the whole thing with the satellite photos in China and figuring out how to fuck over a Krakow. Uh, after. That was the thing I couldn't follow, but I thought, I'm just going to accept well, it. Yeah, no, cool, again, cool and impressive. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not that I was following following it, but just that it was happening at all. You well, know? yeah, and I, I guess I would expect the government to do it. It's really interesting to think of these stock companies as yeah. Yeah, Well, the government does do it, but yeah. probably not for the same. They're not, you know, these guys are trying to think of what company can I short that's the, what's the real plan yeah. right. of, the, of these guys. And anyway, it was good. I just, But it is one of those things where you just you have to think, I'm gonna guess that this. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take it on faith that this holds up. Yes. <laughs> yes. That this conversation. And back. actually, speaking of new characters, uh, Danny Strong is Krakow. I think is really interesting. And yeah, so, totally. You know, yeah. And and if we get more Eric Bogosian, I'm always in favor of that. If you haven't seen Talk Radio, go see Talk Radio. Yeah, Talk Radio is great. <laughs> but, and uh, but. 
But I thought, and, and probably still will, and then and then I thought Axe's scene with him was good. Like, I don't remember you. Yeah, where were you? And I, yeah. uh, but I feel like Bogosian would know Axe is pursuing this. I mean, uh, Chuck is pursuing this because you've got, I mean, he's ears to the ground. He would know that Axe is funding these 127 lawsuits. Like, he's coming after me because you went after him. Like, right. You have yeah. got me caught up in your... Nonsense, but of course, you what I'm sure is dam. true is that also is that is that there's something there. Oh well, right. yeah, obviously. Right. Of course. <laughs> right. Even though he insists in all the scenes he's in that he kept his nose really clean, right. so but I want to know what that means. Right. And how it means he didn't. It means he has yeah. plausible deniability. It means he's greased enough wheels with the current administration that he didn't think anybody was going to look. Probably. Yeah. You know. <laughs> um, but now there's a time limit. Now there's a time limit on Chuck and how long he's going to make it. You know, he's only God until. Right, but you know, but, but but that he's buying himself time to yeah. like by the time this is over, he's got some other way to not get fired. You know, I mean, at least that's yeah, the plan. Or, exactly. or or you know, or, or he leaves. Or you he know. runs for Congress. Or he you exactly. Know, yeah. yeah. The, the, you know, but I mean, you give yourself five months in Washington politics, you can make yourself so indispensable that she now can't fire him, or yeah. or she gets ass. fired. Yeah. You know, yeah. and there's new mm-hmm. attorney general and some friend of his, and you know, and Ooh. and then the whole host of possible, or he becomes attorney. Right. I mean, there's a. If she's tied into this scandal with the, him going after the, so many possibilities. Right. <laughs> if, if we've no learned anything way. from current events, any fucking thing can happen. Did we know <laughs> that the that the uh, uh, beautiful, incredibly smart uh, black uh, deputy is Felicia Rashad's daughter? Did we did we know? That? I did not know she that. Was Felicia Rashad and Ahmad Rashad's daughter. Oh, Tom, so that makes her that, Debbie Allen's niece. That makes her Debbie Allen's <laughs> niece. That's right. Oh, but the other thing we were talking about before that we but, didn't know, or that we didn't think that we knew, was that the Brian yeah. and uh, Axe's one, Axe's lawyer was Brian's Glenn law professor. Fleshler, Fle- Fleshler, 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 Fleshler. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, and the, he's terrific. He was Remus on uh, uh, Boardwalk Empire, but the. But uh, he, they're great, right? I didn't know that. I don't remember that. So all of a sudden, their connections make some sense. That, that it's not they, merely an illicit meeting. Right, they actually have really, a past. Right, they, yeah. they, they do have a fat a past. But maybe they said that and we just missed it because we're dumb. So I don't know. <laughs> Entirely possible. Or we watched a thousand shows and we forgot. Yes. Uh, also in, 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 in our defense. <laughs> but also who and the other. I mean, I love all the. I like Brian, but I mean, but but Condola Rashad uh, is great, and I loved that scene where she goes into the guy who I can only describe because the first paper I wrote with the Frederick Douglass hair. Oh. Um, and uh, but those guys, those actors are so good. And he calls. Oh, the in. close the door yeah, scene. Yeah, yeah. And she says, yeah. you know, don't you don't need to do it in public. And he's like, come in here. I <laughs> I was helping you, and here's why I was helping you. Right. And, and it, here's a you're going to put yeah. this forward, and if it blows up, then it's not my problem. But it'll make you look good if it doesn't. And it, but I li- and I also just I like yeah. the idea that that guy goes into court like with with that hair. Yeah, no, I that's a that's a that's, I just, I, that's a strategy. I, I like these. I like those two. I'm a big fan of those two. And Brian had that great moment too, where he that really human moment of saying, you know, with, to these to his professor, you know, I had we had a relationship with a woman, but then she she saw me for what I am, so that's over. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I don't even know quite what that means, but I assume it means, you know, she saw that I'm you know venal and ambitious and horrible, and so right. she, that's the end of that. It's too bad because I was really into her. But she's ambitious. Totally. Do you think I, it's I, a, I wonder I, I, if it's more that he uh, was doing things for Chuck. But doing things, or or I'm not, or I'm not enough, or that I'm a number two, and she knows I'm not a leader, and she who knows yeah. what what it is he saw. But either way, it was sad. Yeah, because he was because he liked it. No, yeah, though, that was her. a great yeah. couple. I, yeah. I, I was I was shipping them, as the kids say. <laughs> uh, all right, so it, this season two is off and running. So uh, By the way, Daniel so Isaac excited. was the actor who played the Asian broker, who was so good. Oh, in that, the, yeah, that. That, that was that, a great moment. That scene. And it took me a moment to even remember, who is this guy? Why is he yelling? Oh, this is Dr. Gus. This right, Dr. okay, Gus. gotcha. All right, so we'll be back Monday week with uh, episode three. We hope you'll join us. Thanks. <laughs>